got five o'clock. I'm going to call this special call meeting September 19th, 2024 at five o'clock. I'm going to ask Brother Coleman if he'll lead us in a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads, please. Father God, we just want to thank you today. We thank you for this meeting, Lord. We thank you for each and every one pressing their way out today. And we ask you to be in the midst of this meeting, Lord, as we get an understanding and for our city of Hartford, we want it to grow and we want to see things change. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we want to remember Brother Jerry uh, Likens today too, Lord, and touch him and heal his body. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Before you have the meet, uh, regular meeting of August 22, August 22nd, 2024, uh, I'll, we got two different motions there. I'll ask for a, a motion to accept the August minutes. I make the motion we accept the August 22nd, 2024 minutes. Second. First and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls the light side. Motion carries. Um, okay, the second uh, special call meeting, September the 5th. Again, we'll ask for a uh, motion to approve the minutes as read on the special call meeting, September the 5th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from September 5th, 2024. Second. I have a first and second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls the lights out. Motion carries. Okay. Um, before you, you have the financial reports, bank statements, income statements, account payable. After reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to approve the financial reports as read. I make a motion to accept the financial reports as read. Second by Tony. First by. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls like sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, for you, uh, in old business, you have the ordinance on the on the tax. Um, do I have a. Well, this is. Okay. This is the second reading in both. Okay, so we need a second reading on that. Ordinance number 2024-04, an ordinance levying and ad valorem taxes for general municipal purposes for the fiscal year of January 1, 2024 through December 31st, 2024, on all taxable property within the taxing jurisdiction of the City of Hartford on each $100 of fiscal year 2024 assessed valuation as follows. On real property, 36.5 cents. Uh, Tangible and personal property, 36.5 cents. Motor watercraft, 22.8 cents. Including real, real and property, uh, personal property, apologize, of per, uh, public service companies. Thank you. And this will be a roll call vote, so I'll start with uh, Jeff. Yes. Coleman. Yes. Stacia. Yes. Mary Bell. Yes. Tony. Yes. All right. Motion carried. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, Jeff, do you care to read the second reading of the? Ordinance number 2024-05, an ordinance adopting a new pay scale to provide guidance for the compensations of employees for the City of Hartford in accordance with its existing personnel classification and pay plan ordinance. All right, thank you. Again, this will be a roll call vote. I'll start with you, Jeff. Yes. Coleman? Yes. Stacia? Yes. Mary Bell? Yes. Renfro? Yes. Yeah. All right, motion carries. All right, thank you for that. Um, all right. Okay, I'm going to... we got a resolution on the grant program. I'm going to let Lisa explain this a little bit. 
Which one is that? This one. There you go. You can have this one. Okay, so this is um, the. Uh, no, wait, is this, this the one we're doing next? Oh, six. Oh, let me go back. I might have got ahead of myself. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. She even organized it for me and I still messed it up. <laughs> This was an unreal opportunity where we had already agreed to participate with the cleaner water program and on the percent that the Hartford was to provide, they came up with a grant and it's called G-R-A-N-T and they will pay half so of the city's portion. So that means the grant will be for $87,680. They're one of this like past like yesterday, so if we can get them, this to them as soon as possible, then this will provide um, 87000 So uh, we just need a, a motion. Mm -hmm. I'll make the motion. Yeah, go ahead, Mary Beth. Sorry. Go ahead. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, authorizing resolution number 2406. I have, a, I, have a, a second. I have a first and second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like so. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. We don't have to have another reading of them, do we? Okay. All right, Chase, you can come up. Uh, before you, you should have a resolution that Tara has prepared, and I'm going to hand out some supporting documentation that will help explain what's going on in that resolution. don't know me, my name is Chase Vincent. Uh, I'm the grandson of Hayward and Nancy Sphinx. Um, I am the president of Triple S Incorporated. We own and manage the Sphinx Shopping Center here in Hartford and several other properties around the county. Um, we've been thinking about for several years about the possibility of putting a billboard on our property on the corner of 69 and 231 across 69 from Moore Ford. We submitted an application for a sign permit with planning and zoning. We were approved. We submitted the necessary documentation to the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet for their approval, and we were denied. The reason for our denial was that uh, they said that that stretch of 231 was part of the Blues to Bluegrass Bill Monroe Scenic Byway, and that outdoor advertising was not permissible on scenic byways. Um, I looked at some of the history. Uh, before you, on your first page, you have a map of the, that's from the state uh, Kentucky Transportation Cabinet's website of restricted areas. You'll see in the, in the highlighted in the light blue, that is the restricted area um, that outdoor advertising is not permissible. You'll note on there that the stretch of 231 between 62 and 69 is not included in that. Um, if you look, there's also included in that packet, back in 2004 when that designation was made, our entire stretch of 231 was pretty much a part of that designation. And then in 2007, that stretch of 231 between 62 and 69 was de-designated or taken off of that. Um, so as you know, just from experience in the city, you know, there are, there are billboards in that area. There's a wooden billboard just adjacent to our property on 69. There's a billboard across 231 uh, next to the car shop. And we feel like, uh, well, I asked further, you know, I said, well, what happened with the stretch of 231 between 69 and 62? Why was that not included or why was it taken, or why was it taken out? Well, I mean, we know just from our experience that that is our main commercial corridor in this county, and to not allow billboards on it would be, you know, almost crazy. That's that's all that that's where the advertising should take place. Um, so I asked further and received guidance from Jackie Jones with the transportation cabinet, and she said that that is indeed what happened with that stretch of, of road. In 2007, it was de-designated, and she informed me that 
any part of the scenic byway can be removed from that designation with a resolution um, passing from the local municipality. So that's what I come before you today um, is to ask for. I requested simply for the for the purposes of our billboard that you know that stretch of 231 from the corner of 69 back to Carlisle, but you all in reality could could pull it back as far as you wanted to, whether it be Western or Kirk or Old Main, whatever. Um, but in my mind, my argument would be that, you know, even though we're just on the north side of 69, we're still in that 231 commercial corridor. Yeah. And we're really disadvantaged just by being on the wrong side of the road. Um, the wooden billboard that exists there is grandfathered in because I guess it existed before the designation was made. But... Um, You'll see also in that packet, uh, most of that that, page, that front page with the map on it is just a, a single print page. Most of the other pages are two-sided. If you flip through there, you'll see uh, a map of the proposed location. You'll see a blueprint of the proposed sign. Uh, it would be a three-sided, two-high sign, and that is to take advantage of both the northbound traffic, the southbound traffic of 231, and also the traffic coming off 69. So we've been approved in every other aspect of approval, except that this is a part of the, the Billman, Blues to Bluegrass Bill Monroe Scenic Byway. And you know, while we support Bluegrass, of course, and Bill Monroe's legacy and promulgating Bill Monroe's legacy, we feel like you know no one goes down that stretch of 231 and thinks, "Ooh, scenic byway." Right. You know, it is it is a part of our commercial corridor, and we feel like that designation isn't really serving its intended purposes in that regard, in that location, and would simply ask uh, you to consider having it taken off that byway designation so that we could place a sign there. Well, if, happy to answer any questions. Is that exactly where you want to put it? Yes. On deck. Yeah. Yeah, there is a restriction. Uh, the state does have a restriction on how close billboards can be together. Right. We would fall outside of that um, distance. Uh, given our proximity to the wooden billboard, I think the proximity is, or the, the limiting factor is 500 feet. We may be 550 or 600. I may be wrong on that, but we are outside of that limit. So, because of the bluegrass designation, is it, it's not a county issue, it's not a Hartford City issue? I mean... I asked Jackie, I said, does it matter who I go before, you know, who... I don't, I don't know the entity that requested that designation back in 2004, but I asked Jackie that question. Do I need to go before whatever entity it was that, that submitted for that designation in the beginning? And she said no. She said, actually said it would probably be better for the city since it's within the city limits. And 231 is designated what? The Blues, <laughs> Blues to Bluegrass Bill Monroe Scenic Byway. It goes all the way from Henderson County, McLean County... Ohio County, Davis County. But not County. 62, which is the... It does go on out 62 through Rosine. Yeah. <laughs> but for for whatever reason, you would have to read, you know, the, uh, yeah, right. the explanation of why it was given that designation to begin with. And, of course, you know, 62 I can completely understand. As you're going out to Rosine, yeah. you wouldn't want that littered with billboards. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think there would be a demand, really, unless... Somebody wanted to put up a billboard that said, you know, Bill Monroe this way or something. Yep. But again, you know, this piece of property in question, I don't think anyone thinks in their mind of as being part of the scenic byway. It is a commercial corridor. And we have an opportunity here to take advantage of its location at the T of two, you know, major thoroughfares for our county and our city. So what we're kind just, of billboard are you going to put up a three-sided one? Yeah, there's schematics on, I believe, on the second or th the back of the second or yeah, third page. I don't page. have to read these just so far. <laughs> <laughs> there in your right hand. Uh, it will be a metal... Uh, I know. <laughs> it will be a metal-constructed, metal mass billboard with a gangway on each level. It will be lit up. It will be three-sided, again, to take advantage of northbound and southbound 231 traffic <clears throat> and traffic coming from 69. Are you uh, still be, space on this, or is it yeah. your business, or what? Kind of no. like the one at Walmart. It's yes. electronic. The one, uh, it's not electronic. Um, okay. It will not be electronic. It will okay. be um, uh, canvases or whatever. Okay. Yeah. 
Static, yes. It is static outdoor advertising. Um, we crunched the numbers on whether we should do electronic, but it just it didn't make as much uh, economic sense as just doing a static billboard. But yes, it will be three-sided. It will be two faces per side. They will be 10 feet high, 25 feet wide. That's pretty standard for uh, what else we have in the county. Um, some of the uh, manufacturers that we got quotes from, they said, well, we do, you know, as big as you want, 20 by 40, so on and so forth. But we didn't really want to go above and beyond what already exists in the county, um, simply because that's what the market is currently bearing. And, you know, we're not trying to be the biggest, or we, we hope that we'll be the best, but, we, you know, we're not trying to outdo anyone. Um, we just want to provide people an opportunity to advertise at that location. Is there any S? Um, we're talking over each other right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're both thinking too much. <laughs> So, say, uh, whose responsibility if, say, it gets all dilapidated and worn and it just it looks like an eyesore to take, to remove it or replace it or fix it? That would be at the discretion of Hartford Beer and Planning and Zoning, I believe. Okay. They're the, they're the body that, that oversees, you know, unsightliness and things of that nature. Okay. So you have talked to them about the signage and the We have approval. Yeah, we have approval from Nancy with Planning and Zoning. Um, there was an exception that had to be made. The current planning and zoning uh, regulations state that it can't be more than 30 feet high, but because of where it's located, down in that field, you know how it slopes yeah. down off of the, the road bank there? If you limited us to 30 feet high, it would basically be flush with the road level. Yeah. And there's also a stipulation in the regula regulation that says that it cannot impede the view of any residential right. or commercial property. And we are that commercial property, really, that doesn't want to be obstructed. I don't want people coming northbound on 231 to not be able to see Spink Shopping Center. So we really need to raise it up another 10 feet and give that mast uh, some uh, 10, 10 extra feet of, uh, of lake, uh, height to get the, the view up uh, over the horizon line of the shopping center and, and be just above it. We don't want to be super high. Um, the ex exception that, that we were granted was just 10, 10 feet extra, so it'll be 40 feet. Um, it's just to get us, it's just to really to make up for how, how low right. the mast would sit uh, down below the road level. Okay. All right. Um, no further questions. Resolution number 2024 07, a resolution of the city of Hartford, Kentucky, to segment. A portion of Highway 231 designated as Blues to Bluegrass Scenic Byway for the purpose of promoting economic development and commercial opportunities. With that being read, do I have a motion to approve this resolution? I have a first by Tony. I'll second. Second by Stacia. All in favor say aye. Aye. Holes like si. Motion carries. Thank you, Chase. Thank you all. And she will get that to you, I guess, maybe tomorrow, I guess. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Chief, you're up. Thank you again with another policy. Uh, this policy basically is our career development program. Uh, so, the uh, purpose is uh, the career development program is to provide structured <laughs> framework for uh, professional growth and development of uh, our law enforcement officers within the Hartford Police Department. The program aims to enhance skills, knowledge, and competencies through organized training and education and recognizing members with their achievements. Uh, basically, this uh, CDP pro uh, program uh, was uh, established in 2003 by KLEC. So pretty much an officer that uh, we would actually put it in the policy where every officer has to participate in this program. So it starts out with an intermediate uh, law enforcement officer and then it goes to advanced law enforcement officer. They can't press past that on any speci uh, specialized uh, positions in law enforcement until they get the adequate training hours or the adequate uh, college credits that would actually put them into that next scope. So also attached to this policy, I have the uh, actual career development informational guide 
Uh, so pretty much this is a, this is a resume builder, a uh, specialization type uh, incentive for our officers. So to actually keep them to, to thrive in training and uh, be more specialized. So I'd rather have too many specialized uh, officers than not enough. So basically this will actually put them as an incentive for their training grade and also the college grade. Does anybody have any questions for the chief? If, so are, are these steps in the program, so once they complete one step and they're able to move on, will that come with like uh, an incentive like uh, a pay raise or? or well, uh, not exactly. Uh, it could potentially lead to the next step in the scale okay. or uh, the wage assignment. Um, but it also, we can also give awards based on the initiative that these officers take. So we, uh, that's going to be a, a, another thing I, I'll bring in front of you guys. And that's something that can be discussed at the, at, before the next physical budget a year. Um, I think that's a good, good program to have, a good tool to have in our back pocket for, uh, rec not only for our officers, but for recruiting tools as well. It's so, progression. Yeah, progressive. Uh, it's, it just keeps going to a, di a different stage. So, so much confidence. All right. Thank you, Chief. All right. Um, so I guess we'll need a motion to approve the policy for the career development program. I make a motion to approve the career development policy, uh, police policy. I have a first by Stacia, second. second by Coleman. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls like side, so, motion carries. Okay, um, before we get to our visitors, if it's okay with the council members, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Chief, uh, before you sit down, uh, why don't you tell them the news that you got told okay. today? Uh, a while back, we actually, I actually presented a uh, resolution for a cops hiring program, which would give us a set of officers. Uh, today, I've got, uh, got a notification that we actually were, was awarded $135,000 for that additional officer. So, nice. we're, so we're pretty excited yeah, in his yeah. hard work that he's put into this, and we appreciate you doing yes. it. Yes, I couldn't do it Miss Lisa over there. So no. You get that credit. <laughs> So, we appreciate you all. Then you should have you received a better work. answer earlier whenever you told the mayor that. <laughs> <laughs> I was half asleep. <laughs> all right, thank you. Um, so, let me look at my calendar. In addition to our um, planning and zoning, I would like to see if we can set a special called meeting perhaps maybe the fourth, the October the 4th at 5 o'clock on the planning and zoning, and this will be for the vote. Um, do I have a motion? Mayor, I make a motion that we, we set the date for October 4th to uh, come to a resolution on the zoning and planning. Uh, Personally, I feel like we don't need to leave it out there. We need to action right. this one way or the other. Uh, and I think uh, the sooner the better. So yep. uh, I'll make a motion for October the 4th. I'll second. I have a second. By, uh, first by Jeff, second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls like a sigh. Motion carries. So, again, that meeting will be September the 4th at 5 o'clock for visitors. October. <laughs> Thank you, Stacia. Uh, and that will be in regards of the planning and zoning. Um, I see we have some visitors. If anybody would like to speak on the behalf of any of anything for the good of the body. We both have things to say. Okay. I bet hers will be shorter than mine. Okay. I just have a document uh, to give you uh, regarding uh, what your agency will be doing with regards to the planning and zoning. Thank you. 
sticky fingers. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Thank you. I don't want you. You had your fingers. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you coming again. This is the doctor making the email thing. Okay. I did share it with our attorney, so I have four ready. Okay. okay. You have questions. Back to school email. You got to come to these health coalition meetings. You don't know that. I know it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we promised a sidewalk celebration um, to celebrate the City Perfect Partnership with us and both those contractors, too. I'm going to leave extra street in my film to go out there in the rolling sun and put that sidewalk in. Um, you know what my shoes I have on today? I very much appreciate it having a sidewalk to walk on. Because a lot of times I'm in the gravel or on the road. Uh, but we want all the council members to come out, anybody in the community. We've got it in our community newsletter. I think Dustin's going to put it out. We're going to have wellness walks and ch uh, sidewalk chalk. When is it? September 30th. Right down there. Monday, September 30th, 4 to 7. And because it's a sidewalk, we're going to be serving walking tacos <laughs> and a caramel apple bar. So we want to just get together and celebrate what the city did for us and to say thank you. And so we hope you guys can come out, any of the, um, our, our force, anybody you can think of, um, come out and celebrate the new access to care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to get clean set of planning and zoning proposals? We go well, I think the three we have. She was going to change uh, some typos that we had found in the document, and we're supposed to get us a copy so that it has be. all the typos and everything. The final, final document. Okay. Prior to the meeting, I'll I would hope we'll see. Yeah, we'll try to get that. Done before. I'll call her now. <coughs> yeah, make sure put a rush on getting that out, and make sure that uh, give give the council enough time to get it okay. for review. Okay. Um, anybody else have anything to bring forward? Um, we'll go to the council roundtable discussion. Jeff, do you have it? Oh. I was just going to say that you discussed. Right. No action. He's stepping in as Terry right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do have one, and it's kind of going on on, on what uh, CC is bringing up. Uh, I know, can we do or start like a, a business recognition uh, for our businesses that are in Hartford? I don't know, maybe even start something by just, you know, advertising on Facebook forum or just a, a, some, something that, and I'm, I know we have a list of all the businesses that have or a license, business license, so we know we have all the Hartford businesses, but uh, can we just start doing something, some kind of recognition, some, something to say thanks for doing business in Hartford? That's something that we can discuss. Um, we can brainstorm the idea of what to do there. I mean, um, I don't have a problem. I think it's a good good thing to do. I do know the Ohio County Chamber does some of that stuff on their Facebook, but it's not city-centered. I mean, it's anybody in Ohio County, but I think it's a good, it would be a good initiative to do it local. Yeah, I, I think it would be a good thing to start. Um, do, who, uh, who handles our Facebook page? Is it Meredith? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just an idea. So that's something we can... Yeah, I'll talk to her and see what kind of game plan we can do and maybe... I can tell you, you can make it simple by just sharing something that the business shares. Right? Yeah. That's no harm, no foul, and you're not even burning your calories for that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be... A, yeah, we could... I can tell her maybe we can start trying to do that, so... Yeah. It doesn't have to be every day. It could yeah, be one a month or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, we'll, tr we'll do that. Appreciate it. That's well, all I'm, I have. I'm the current treasurer of the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce, and CC here is the immediate past president. Um, I, can, I think I could speak on behalf of the rest of the chamber board that we'd be happy to partner with you um, on anything in that regard. Uh, like Stacia said, 
we do share often, you know, our members' posts. Uh, we do have to be a little bit selective, and, and you know, we just boost uh, things that our members post. But the city of Hartford want to do a city of Hartford spotlight. Um, I think that you know, there's ways that we can help one another. Uh, I think Meredith has reshared some things that that we have shared, you know, onto the city's page. But if, you know, if the city desires more of that, then we'd, we'd be happy to just help anybody. We could probably take that director of meeting and just talk about maybe it's not just the appropriate, but to just do some rotation. Yeah. Just like you said, you know, we did when we did the city park, we did the city park in the center town and promoting that economic wealth and development. Thank you. Yeah, sounds good. See, Chase, there was another reason why you were there tonight. <laughs> right. yeah, sounds good. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Mr. Coleman? Yes, I'd like to say that I am y'all's chaplain for, oh, for Hartford City Police here. And we are, I talked to the FBI today, we stay in contact. And um, he let me know that um, anybody else is on as a chaplain, and they hadn't went through the FBI program, they could be fine. So we do do this to help the community, and I do talk to people in the community because I'm always out there, with, sometimes not with the city police, but we do have people that suicidal, and I talk to them. And I have been through the River Valley Angels where they deal with that because I used to be the head of security over River Valley too. So I want you to know if you know somebody got a problem, I'll be glad to share it. and I use the spiritual world in with it. <laughs> I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, David. Yes. Stacia, do you have anything? Uh, nothing pressing. Be watching Facebook. Meredith's putting a lot of things out about the Oktoberfest coming up and vendors and activities and that's always a fun time. It is. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I appreciate all the visitors we've had over the last several months Absolutely. and uh, appreciate Hartford businesses. Uh, whatever decision, future decisions are made, we always try to have the best our entire community um, so we have you know still lots lots in the works and lots happening and Hartford's got good changes going on and just appreciation for folks that are trying to make change I think I think you, you sure I maybe I may come back to me after Tony Mary Bell yes uh, I got to Lisa last week or sometime about a tree in Hartford. Yes. And it sits on the corner of Render and Old Main. Okay, sorry, check it out. Okay. And <clears throat> I almost ran over there for our yard when uh, I first Jason, saw it. Sorry, check it out. I got a picture of it. It's in the public yard. It's in what? Your yard. No, I'm right. Render and Old Main Street. Tree. Okay, I'm well, listening. It's, it's, it's only half of a tree. I'm it's touched. a stone. Is it the one that's cut out that looks like it can fall over? Yes. Okay, got it. Yes. Okay. I worry about that tree. Okay. Uh, it, it's more than six inches, though. I stopped this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, measured yeah. it. <laughs> Done measured it out, huh? <laughs> Huge notch has been cut out of it. Oh, yeah. Like it gets, oh, it looks like a yeah. cartoon. It gets doesn't it bother anybody else? I know exactly where it's at now. It's like a beaver's chewed around. <laughs> I guess the, uh, the, the action that we'll have to take on that would probably get with the homeowners because that is on private property, and we might have to talk to Jason and, or, well, Jason's been out there. maybe Jason and the chief go down and say, you know, hey, safety. here's what we got, safety issues going on. Sorry, Chief, though you didn't mix the things about cutting a tree down, but you just never know what day it's going to be. So. I don't know why. No, Mary Bell, way. you don't need to be on that one. <laughs> don't let me do it. <laughs> well, tell me, what do I do with an old TV if you're not going to pick it up on clean? Or paint. Or paint. 
I don't have any tires. But so I got three computers. The recycle problem. The recycle. Best Buy takes them. I'll take it over for you. Huh? Best Buy, I'll take them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They what about, they what about old paint cans? I have 20 year old paint cans. Uh, just put them in your room and make have a good ball no. art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one girl has a hazardous day a year. Like, I don't know where they take their stuff after it's accumulated, but they do have a hazardous drop off. I'm like, sure they have the hazmat capability for stuff like that. I don't know. This TV has got a good picture of it. It's no second. Well. No, there could have been the operator, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have it for three days, so I just went and bought a new I mean, that's, we can, I can ask. Like uh, a hazardous. Yeah, I can, ask, I, don't know. I can ask Charlie Shields, emergency management, see what kind of... Uh, See what kind I of because I know they do the t tires, but I I don't know. They do tires, paint. Yeah, all so I don't know. Once per all, it's, I think it's a one day hazardous drop off yeah. thing per year. I'll ask and see what we got. So I'm accumulating TVs and paint. <laughs> I'm too boxy. I don't have my paint cans. I got rid of them one at a time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Tony, do you yes. have anything? No, I'm, good. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second. First by Tony, second by Stacey. All in favor say aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.